Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, welcome to your timeless true love timeline reading. I am your reader, fellow Earth Sign Virgo that I am, Mark Angela Lyons, Mal for short, they are my initials. I am a professional witch, a professional intuitive, the president of Drawing the Circle Production since 1998. It's been a while. Uh, I am the author of two books with the third one in process. The first one is called Spell Ingredients from a Professional Witch. The second one is called Words of Grace from a Professional Witch. It's essentially a book of prayer and there is a Kindle version available of Words of Grace and a link in the description box. If you would like to click it, you can preview it for free and see the table of contents is mostly divided into chakra chapters. There are chakras in this reading. That's the only reason I mention it. The original version of Words of Grace, though, which is a Fellini film fest compared to the Kindle version, we had to pare it down a bit. Well, that would be over on patreon.com slash drawing the circle in our digital shop. It's also the only place where you can purchase uh, spell ingredients from Professional Witch. Uh, the, our digital store is amazing. We got the ebooks there, we've got audios, we've got videos with previews for the audios and videos now. That's really cool. Uh, my subscribers get all sorts of benefits, but the majority of them get uh, three benefits in common. A daily check-in. I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream link pretty much every single morning where we literally chat with each other about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications always ending with some sort of spiritual practice, something, something to send us on our way. Best way for this witch to start the day, and it's one of my favorite things on Earth. They also get all of the extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. All of my extended readings are timeless and relationship stuff based, uh, as well as when it comes time for them to book me for private sessions, spiritual counseling and readings and all of that they get a significant discount. We'll talk about that at the end of the video if you want more info on it. My lighting's really weird today. I gotta stay out of that sunlight, otherwise I, whew, I look like a ghost. And I'm not one yet. Well, we're all ghosts in the machine, aren't we, Sting? Uh, so, uh, I love it. You can follow us for free on Patreon. I put out content specifically for my free followers, though my subscribers get to see it too, obviously. As well as you can follow us in a seven day, uh, sorry, you can do a seven day free trial. As a seeker or a human our first two levels of subscription dip a toe jump out the last day if you like but if you want the discount you got to stay for a month and book me within that month that's only fair right yeah you know, i checked with my lawyers that's only fair and it's the coolest thing i've ever done i love it so much i highly recommend it click the link check it out look at the menu and come patreon on patreon because i'm the archangel of lions mark angelo lions you could just call me Mal. Yeah, that secret's been out for a while. Hey, my beloved bulls. Uh, welcome to the True Love Timeline. If you are new, we'll do some explanation before we get to the divination. And if you're old, <laughs> you know what I mean. If you're following me for a while, you feel free to jump ahead. Although we did change it up this time a little bit. So let's get down to it. Uh, the true love timeline is what happens when you make the most wisest, loving, empowering decisions, bringing together the third eye, right, wise, right, the heart chakra, loving, and the throat chakra, empowering, right, making important choices and decisions in your relationships, regardless of the form of that relationship. Family member, friend, lover, boss, doesn't matter. Even someone on the TV you can't stand, they might be uh, helping you uh, to fulfill your sacred contracts. Uh, what you came in to do in this lifetime, becoming more truthful and loving and empowered and anchoring true love into uh, the Earth's electromagnetic field, particularly as an Earth sign, because true love conquers all, true love heals all wounds, true love breaks all curses, ancestral, societal, and otherwise. So it is about liberation and healing and all of that stuff, but it's through our relationships. Now, I will say, uh, when I was editing the description box for this series, I, I looked at the extended, uh, not the extended, um, the, the other videos that I recommend uh, on true love. So it's all pretty much there. Uh, we are doing something, hey, we are doing something a little different this time. Uh, we are going to be using four different decks to get, I believe it's eight cards on the table. We'll get a little bit, let's do the math. Ooh. We're gonna get three Daughters of the Moon Tarot for the internal feminine energy, heart throat, third eye crown, dynamic, I told you there were chakras in it. That's the inside stuff that maybe you share, maybe you don't. 
we are going to look at the masculine energy, the lower three chakras, looking at yourself from the outside in, you looking from the inside out at people, places, and things, relationships in the physical world. Well, Mythic Tarot, one of my favorite, both of these are my favorite tarot decks. Uh, so that's six. Yeah, it is eight. I did math correctly. Go figure. We're going to get one Whispers of Love Oracle. Uh, by Angela Hartfield. I love her work. This one is the uh, the voices of the higher selves of all involved, not just the one you're watching or cross-watching for yourself, perhaps, uh, but everyone who may be involved. And then we will end with a Matt Con healing mantra, which work if you work them, uh, because this is about healing, and it's about becoming the true love that we already are at core. That's the illusion, right? We're on this journey to become that which we already are, but there's always a higher level of consciousness, right? So our relationships, fortunately or unfortunately, are the ways that our lessons are primarily um, uh, delivered to us so that we can take the hero's journey of the path of true love. You know, the golden timeline is just a simpler way of looking at it, past, present, and future. So uh, let's get up to, into it, don't you think? I think it's time. That's enough explanation. Let's get to the divination. Both feet on the floor, if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will. I promise I will do anybody, anything that I can within my power to help them navigate the true love timeline for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser life and a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser way for a happier, healthier, wealthier, wiser world because as one of us even takes a little step forward, we all move. It's the upward spiral of it all. And believe it or not, there is no falling back. Go figure. So let's do it. The shift from explanation to divination happens in the still point. It's my favorite thing to do. So let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. My goddesses override. A place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will live. So let it be. My beloved goddesses, please, I need three daughters of the moon, tarot, face down, past, present, future, simple timeline for the Taurus Collective, sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and their cross watchers, uh, in on the path of true love and the true love timeline, where have they been? Heart, throat, third eye, crown, internal, internal, where are they now? In the true love timeline, point of power is always in the present moment. And where are they headed if they just do their best to make the wisest, most loving, most empowering decisions in their soul contracts, their relationships in this time, this true timeline read? Oh, no, we're not going to look at those yet. We're going to get these three on the table as well, face down, and then we'll look at them past, present, and uh, future. Sorry, I am a Virgo. <laughs> okay, I'm not sorry, I'm a Virgo. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. My gods override. Mm, that feels good. Place for everything and everything in its place. Put all where it belongs in time and space for the well being of all and with harm to none as we will it. So let it be done. My beloved gods, what's going on? Lower three chakras in the past. Where have they been? The Taurus Collective and their cross-watchers in the true love timeline. Where are they now? Point of power is always in the present moment. Lower three chakras. And where are they headed? Again, if they just do their best to make the wisest, most loving, most empowering decisions, where are they headed? In the timeless true love timeline. Is this timeless true love timeline read? <laughs> oh, well, we're off, we're, we're off to the races here. So where you been? You got a court card, the Scorpio card, Hecate. <laughs> I love her. She's been with me my whole life. Hecate, the Scorpio card, fixed water there. So if you have planets in uh, Scorpio, I would say have a look at your chart, particularly the house that it is in, depending on your rising sign, if you know that. If you don't have those uh, uh, planets, uh, you know, anything in Scorpio, if you're Generation X, chances are you do. We have Neptune in Scorpio. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Uh, but we look at the, the eighth house, right? Scorpio, eighth house. Transformation. Uh, uh, mystery, right? 
uh, mysticism, other people's resources, money, sex, and power. I will say it is water, obviously, fixed water, so we're probably looking at heart chakra there and either a transformation of the heart or something very, very powerful, a mystery within your own heart. Now, it's interesting because Hecate, goddess of witches, certainly associated with the moon, although in this case, um, uh, Pluto, because of Scorpio. You got the sun card, Apollo. So we got two Greeks in your past there. Now, the card of the sun really dissipates all illusion. It really does. It's a card of truth. It's a card of healing. It's a card of authenticity. And I will tell you, you do not want to lie uh, when Apollo hits the table. Now, it is in the past. This could be a place that you were in in your life, not necessarily literally a place, but a period of time uh, where your own enlightenment was going on or the truth was coming out or you were seeing things radically differently either triggering or as the result of perhaps an emotional transformation. This could be shadow work that went on there, right? Really doing the alchemy uh, from lead to gold, from fear to love, etc. So that's promising. It wasn't easy, I'm sure, but it was promising because, you know, when you think of the sun, it is gold, right? So it is that golden alchemy there. Maybe you were dealing with a person who has that Apollo vibe. Oh, they're great fun. Uh, where are you now? Oh, well, okay. All right, a little stealth going on here. Ten of Flames on the inner is the Hora. It's not that same feeling of exhaustion that we see over and over uh, with Rider Waite based uh, tarot, Rider Waite deck, as well as you know all the others that use that symbolism. It is the Hora. If you have ever been uh, to a Jewish uh, wedding, bar mitzvah or bat mitzvah, it's a dance of celebration. It's a dance of completion. So something that was desired at some point is coming together for you now, right? It went from the ace, the ace of flames, in this case not called wands, it's called flames, right? Made its way to completion. So there is something worth celebrating here within yourself, whether that's a loving of yourself, right? Allowing the passion, the element of fire to sort of blaze through you, but it is not a sad or overwhelming card, not in Daughters of the Moon Tarot. However, <laughs> we have got the Seven of Swords here. Ooh, the Orestes, the Eumenides here, sneaking around, right? Uh, there might be some stealth going on here. And again, coming from that place of Scorpio, you might not be letting on with everything that you know or have learned as a result of the truth being revealed uh, in your past there. So you're kind of keeping some secrets or someone is keeping secrets from you. In other words, not all the cards are on the table, uh, what's going on, but with the Ten of Flames inside, I would say your sense of completion might be something that you're just like, Ooh, soft of eye and light of touch. Speak you little, listen much. Blessed be Doreen Valiente. Where are you headed? Oh, okay. Well, that's it, it ends well, I guess. Uh, on the inner where you headed is Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups is certainly a card of illusion. Can even be delusion sometimes, right? But emotionally driven. And you got water in the past. So water into the future, I would say there are a lot of emotional options of how you want to feel and how you want to deal with the coming. And that's the beauty of having a clue, a tip, or a hint about what's coming so that you can shift that. Every time we make a more loving, wise, empowered decision, or even sometimes just a little what we think of as a micro choice can be a life-changing decision, we shift to a more loving, wise, empowered timeline. So this is changeable. However, temperance, lower three chakras. Now, when I read um, tarot this way in a chakric manner, uh, if it's a major arcana card, it really covers all three. In this case, three chakras. If it was Daughters of the Moon, it would be all four. Um, so Iris, the goddess of the rainbow, uh, temperance is not necessarily an easy thing, though it's always such a beautiful card. Look into tempering metal. Tons of YouTubes about tempering metal. Like they take these rusted out things, right? So they like doing it with knives and blades for some reason, right? Some people do entire cars where they take these rusted things of iron and they put them through these processes, right? They do electrolysis, which I thought was just for hair. No, they hook it up to a car battery and pour salt water on it and it just all boils away and then they stick it in a furnace, make it white hot and 
dose and uh, douse it uh, into like motor oil, making it unbreakable. So yes, it is a card of timing. It is a card of patience. It is a card of healing, of harmony, of balance. But alchemy itself takes time, pressure, and heat. So. With the Seven of Cups, get that, all right, maybe I, I, I got a good chunk of information here, I got some truth, but you know, my emotions need to be balanced, dealt with. Because even if these are all great cups, the card written here is, uh, written on the card is jealousy. Maybe that's part of this, but, I, but the thing about jealousy, envy is the deadly sin of the third eye, the grace that heals it is the grace of sacred knowledge. So it seems like the sacred knowledge is available here and there's some sort of celebration triumph going on right now to get that, well, when we're not seeing clearly, when we forget that we're all one, then certainly envy can pop in, but it'll make you crazy. It'll make you key somebody's car, right? It's just not great. So whether you are dealing with that in yourself or it is a thing of, but if I choose that, I can't have that. And if I choose that, I can't have that. That can leave us very apathetic. It's like the apathy of options. I learned that from Matt Kahn, his uh, card is coming up uh, at the end of this. So take your time moving into this. There is healing available, and really with the sun in the past and temperance in the future, it's okay that you're a little soft of eye and light of touch, speak you little this and much. A little stealth goes a long way, particularly if it's like based in healthy boundaries. So, chakras are on the table. Let's ask the higher selves of all involved what their whisper of love is. <clears throat> there are romance cards in this deck, but we're only getting one. So, let's ask for the right one. Please take a nice deep breath. Still pulling. Hire yourselves over it. A place for everything and everything in its place, but all where it belongs in time and space. For the well being of all and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. Beloved higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above, what is the whisper of love, the piece of information, inspiration, insight needed by the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and their cross watchers to navigate uh, the Taru Love timeline in this timeless true love timeline? Read. Appreciate this moment, really. The point of power is always in the present moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love, right? Because love is who we are. We are true love. Again, that's sort of the joke, right? And that's why I think when we croak, which also rhymes, uh, we look back and we go, oh, okay, one more time. It's like a video game, right? It's like, Ugh. Right? Especially if you're doing those matchy-match games, right? Those three matchers just trying to get the, uh, the, uh, the red whatever. Uh, this is very, very powerful. Appreciate this present moment. Doesn't mean you have to like it. You could say, okay, there is wisdom here. But with that ten of flames on the inner, that makes sense. You've overcome something, right? You've manif I manifested it. You've brought together something inside of you. And I will say throat chakra, at least for me, is usually elevated element of fire, right? The choices and the decisions that you make. And that decision, perhaps, to keep it secret, keep it safe, a little Gandalf for you there, uh, you know, makes sense, uh, particularly if the shadow work revealed something that might revisit itself in that Seven of Cups, um, but that, that doesn't mean you've done anything wrong. It just means that this is the next step in the journey. And again, that can be, but I want, but... But, 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 which can be very confusing. Take your time. Feel all of the different cups. <laughs> what? Okay. Or, by the way, my, one of my neighbors is cutting down on, <clears throat> I had a fallen tree uh, about a month or so ago. And so they're, they're, they're cutting that up out there. That's why I got the ocean sounds in the background. Which would you rather hear? Ocean sounds or chainsaw? I'm going to say ocean sounds. All right, let's get our last card on the table. Matt Kahn healing mantra. Please take a nice deep breath. There are little kids roller skating outside. Oh, cute. <laughs> Suburbia. Still point. Ascended master override. Oh, this feels surreal. 
a place for everything and everything in its place, but all where it belongs in time and space, for the well-being of all and with harm to none, as we will it, so let it be done. Ascended Masters of True Love, what is the perfect healing mantra to help the Taurus Collective and their cross-watchers navigate uh, the path of true love in uh, the true love timeline for this timeless true love timeline? Reading. Come on. <laughs> there you are. Uh, unraveling codependency. Only I have to feel good about my choices. Now, is this immediately romantic? No, <laughs> because codependent uh, relationships can happen in any way, shape, or form. Uh, and who doesn't have the wounds of abuse, neglect, codependence, and loss, right? If you incarnated in this past century or so, chances are, right? And that stuff's passed down for generations, right? Racially, societally, you know, in our ancestry and all of that. So I'm going to read this one. Only I have to feel good about my choices. I've worked that into conversations uh, with people and also, excuse me, only I have to feel good uh, about uh, my choices. So, unraveling codependency, only I have to feel good about my choices. Ten of flames, I feel like you will feel good about your choices. When codependency unravels, you are able to move freely in the direction of your heart's desire without needing permission from others. That's called freedom, folks. I've pretty much achieved that. I mean, it wasn't easy, but, you know, here I am. I am 55 at the time of this recording. Yeah, I don't know what the things. As codependency fades, you are able to honor the emotional reactions of others as crucial stages of their healing journey without taking responsibility for them. You made me feel. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, I didn't. Nor did you make me feel. I get to choose how I want to see and deal with something. Uh, this mantra is ideal for healing family dynamics. Because that's where we learn it from. Even if your family was completely free of codependency, you got it from some kind of tribal something or other. Cultivating emotional freedom. Emotional freedom is not about f freedom from feeling uncomfortable. It's a, the freedom to feel it all without burning down the village uh, and reclaiming a personal power. I love of this and that's why I appreciate this moment huge opportunity for you to heal grow and find love most likely within yourself but in terms of your process you are becoming true love so if you are new we do what's called a blessimation at the end of my readings here on YouTube I even do it with clients uh, when I uh, when they're ready for that uh, and then we'll talk about other cool stuff at the end if you want to hang out for it any last time please take a nice deep breath well not last time ever but just for now I'm having fun with this Let's enjoy it. Still point. Pantheonic override. <laughs> As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine, on behalf of the Taurus Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and their cross-watchers who are watching this video and drawn to this reading, may they be blessed with all that they need to navigate uh, the true love timeline, making the wisest, most loving, and most empowering choices and decisions as they go, because they're coming from a place of depth and Scorpio, their opposite sign, regardless of uh, planetary placements. They're Hakate, the Scorpio energy of other people's resources, transfer transformation, mysticism, money, sex, and power, where something was brought to light or there really was a healing in the physical world here. Uh, the light coming out, a happiness about this perhaps, as the sun dispels so much illusion, and so that they can appreciate this present moment because they have achieved something perhaps they may not be aware of. Uh, so maybe a heart's desire has fulfilled itself on the inner, maybe not so much on the outer, and that's why it's probably a good idea out of self-preservation for them to appreciate this situation, but soft of eye, light of touch, speaky little listen much as they go from the seven of swords on the outer. To, may they be blessed with all that they need with that seven of cups on the inner. Lots of emotions, lots of options, lots of dreams, but also perhaps uh, some jealousy in there, the third eye being emotionally clouded there, so that they can temper this, that they can bring this into balance, taking the time, the patience, the space for themselves uh, to do this, uh, so that they can appreciate this moment where they are in preparation for what's coming, each and every situation 
situation as an opportunity for them to grow and find love while they unravel codependency because only they have to feel good about their choices. So may they be blessed with all that they need to heal, to grow, to learn, to love, to make the wisest, most loving, most empowering decisions in the true love timeline for their well-being, for the well-being of all, for the love that conquers all, for the love that heals all wounds, for the love that breaks all curses, societal, ancestral and otherwise for the well-being of all and with harm to none as we will it so let it be done so would it be and so it is that's good i mean it's not it's not without its challenges but the course of true love never did run smooth billy shakespeare dated him <laughs> past life boyfriends i wonder if he's back uh, it's probably just a bunch of bacon. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> if you liked the reading, please do hit the thumbs up and help other Tauruses and Crosswatchers find it. If you want more of me here on YouTube, because I'm having a field day, you want to have a field day, subscribe, right? Do love a comment section. I rarely get uh, a negative comment while well, I am a professional witch. Uh -huh. <laughs> and certainly if you want the deeper dive, oh, go check out the menu at least on Patreon. You can shop in our digital store. You can follow us for free. You can seven day free trial. There's so much good stuff over there. It is the best thing I've ever done for my career, Patreon, and they keep giving us cool stuff. We're even on Spotify now uh, because of Patreon. I never thought that was going to happen. And I love it. My secrets, humans, heroes, angels, witches, immortals, mystics, gods, goddesses, as well as my free followers. We are building a lovely community over there, and the daily check-ins are one of my favorite things. So click the link, check it out if you want, and come Patreon on Patreon with the Archangel of Lions, Markangelo Lions, but you can just call me Mal. And uh, if you want one of them private sessions with or without the Patreonic uh, discount, there is a YouTube video I made at the 20th, 25th anniversary of my country. Country? What am I talking about? Am I having a past life bleed through? <laughs> the 25th anniversary of my company during the server productions where I finally raised my prices after 25 years. It explains everything you ever wanted to know about booking a reading with me. Perhaps we're afraid to ask what I charge, why I charge it. What I do, what I don't, my boundaries and all of that, both spiritual counseling and readings. And the most important thing I say in that, and it is the truth. I have never turned anybody away because of lack of finances. Uh-uh, not who I am. I don't want to have to reincarnate because of that. Nope. No, 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 no. But do watch the video. It makes my mom laugh. And I enjoy it a lot. And I love doing readings. General readings are fine. But there's nothing like going deeper with a client. And we Zoom record it. If it's, you know, that way, if it's video, I'm seeing more clients in person as I'm settling into my new home. Uh, but I, it's a conversation. It's not just somebody's hands. Nothing wrong with that, but not just somebody's hands that you get a video of. No, it is a conversation. Um, I send you the video, you download it, you tell me you downloaded it, and I delete it. That's about as confidential, uh, co confidential as you get. So click the link, check it out, and come book a, a private session with Mal. And that being said, yes appreciate this moment because it does feel like more stuff is coming up. But if you are an empath, that could even be feeling someone else's jealousy. Particularly if you've been shining but not making a big deal about it. People hate that, right? <laughs> so hang in there. Only you have to feel good about your choices. Isn't that liberating? It doesn't mean we're going to never feel bad again. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's part of it. It's just part of the path of true love. So be the hero rather than the villain on the path of true love. Because it ain't much of a hero's journey without demons, dragons, vampires, and villains. So you got this. I believe in you. Come on, we're Earth Signs. We can do this. Heal. Hell. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.